Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a wedding website on Canva. The first thing you want to do once you have created your Canva account, I want you to tap on the search bar right here. And all you'll need to do is type in wedding website. The reason why we are doing this is with Canva, you'll be provided with numerous templates. So even if you're a complete beginner to making websites, you'll be able to create a stunning website using these templates. So after typing in wedding websites, you will be redirected to this page. From here, you can simply use your cursor to hover over the different templates and you can see how they look. And once you have found a template of your liking, you can simply tap on it. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this template. You are going to tap on it. You can see similar templates to the one that you had selected by scrolling down. And if you have found one that you like, you will simply tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will now be able to edit your website. So at the moment, you can see how it looks. So these are the images that have been added. And you can also see that our website at the moment has five pages. So you can see them right there. Also, if you would like to preview how the website looks at the moment, you could tap on preview in the top right hand corner right here to preview how it looks. Now to change anything, so we first thing we'll need to do is change the name right here. So you can do that real quick by tapping there, then tap on the pencil. After you have done that, you can see right. The first thing we'll be doing is changing the name. So to change the name, you'll simply double tap the information right here. So let's say, for example, we want to change the name. So we'll do that real quick. So I'll change the name to Simple Answers. And then you could add whatever you want right there. Then after you're finished, we're going to be changing the image. To change the image, you'll select Uploads from the left-hand menu option. Then you could tap on upload an image or video and from there you will be able to upload an image from your device. But for this example, I'll select a copyright free image from Canva. So all I'll need to do is tap on element. Then from there, I'll simply type in couple and then I could select couple right there. After I have done that, I could tap on see all right where photos are. Then you can scroll down and you can select a photo of your liking. So let's say, for example, this one, all you'll need to do is drag and place it. You can also change the background color by selecting the page. Then from there, you could tap on background color. After doing that, you could select a background color of your liking. But I do like the current background color. You can also change the date and time right here. You can change this information. And by scrolling down, you can also edit this information by tapping on it. You can change the font style by tapping right where you see Angela White on my screen. And you can also change the information right there. After you have done that, you can scroll down. And again, you could add a different image right here by selecting the image. You can go over and you could upload an image or you could simply drag and place that image. So let's say, for example, I would like to add another image. I can do that real quick. Let's say this image, I'll drag and place. No, that one is a paid image. So I'll drag and place this image right here. After you have done that, you could tap on the three dots, replace background. You can see it right there. And you can scroll down and you can continue editing. Also, if you would like to add another page, you could simply tap on add page right here to add another page. But the thing about it is if you tap on add a page right there, it won't get the same page background design. So what I would recommend you do instead is you're going to hover right here. Then you're going to tap on duplicate page. After you have selected duplicate page, you'll now be able to delete these information. 
So you could delete all of these information right here and then you could add whatever you want. So for example, if it is text you'd like to add, you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Then from there, you can simply drag and place the text box. You can also add images. So let's say for example, you'd like to add a photo grid. You can do that by simply tapping there. You could tap on elements. Then from there, you could tap on the X. Then you could type in grids right here. So we could type in grid. So let's do that real quick. So you're going to type in grid right there. And after doing that, you can tap on see all and you can see all the different grids right here. And to get even more specific, you could type in photo grid. After typing in photo grid, you could tap right here and tap on see all. And you can see the different photo grid styles that you can choose from. Now, all you will need to do to use one of these grids, you will simply drag and place it. You can see the different photo grids right there that you can select. There are numerous options. So let's say, for example, you'd like to use this one. You could tap on it. Then from there, you could space it out and you could upload your images. And that's how you'll be able to add an additional photo grid if you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish website. After selecting publish website in the top right hand corner, from there, you'll be provided with a free domain name. All you'll need to do is tap on continue in the bottom right hand corner. After you have tapped on continue, if you would like to add a page description you can do that and you can tap on publish once more and your website will now be live and you'll be able to share your website url with persons so that they can visit your website and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching as you can see right here this is it at the moment Thanks for watching.